Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. We're going to be talking about will you and your person of interest reconcile? So this doesn't have to be a romantic connection necessarily, but anybody that you're in separation from, anybody that you have no contact with these days, um, we're going to be looking at your chances of uh, reconciling with this person. So you guys know I normally like to have at least three um, options or piles of cards for you guys to choose from, but today we're just going to have two uh, choices. Um, that's what I felt led to do today, so that's what we're going to do. For um, option one, we have the golden tarot, and for option two, we have the wild unknown tarot. So I will give you guys a moment to make your choice, and then we are going to go ahead and get started. All right, deck one. Will you and your person ever reconcile? So the first two cards that we have here are the Six of Wands and the Four of Swords. We've got the Three of Coins. Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, okay. And the Fool card. All right, deck one, people. Um, so right away, it's looking pretty straightforward. Um, I think you and your person that you're thinking about will reconcile eventually. Um, the Four of Swords being here, I think this is representative of the current energy of this situation. Um, you know, you're on, uh, you're, you guys are on a pause, right? You're in this period of rest, of separation, of little to no contact. Um, you're kind of taking a break from this. Uh, maybe not, um, willingly or voluntarily, but, um, this is something that's been put on pause. Okay. Um, we have a lot of very positive cards here. We've got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Fool card, all of which are talking about new beginnings, okay? The Ace of Swords, this is uh, speaking of communication, insight, clarity. Um, so this is a pretty good indicator that there is going to be some contact coming in. Um, the Ace of Cups is about a fresh start or new beginning, a brand new relationship or starting over within a relationship. And the Fool card is really saying the same thing. This is about a brand new start, a, the beginning of a brand new adventure, um, embarking on something totally new. Okay, so there is all this really strong energy of new, 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 new. Okay, so um, I think it's... <sighs> It's pretty safe to say, at least at right now, based on how the energy is looking currently, based on the path that you guys are on right now, it's looking pretty obvious to me that there is going to be a reconciliation. Okay, um, the Six of Wands and the Knight of Wands, these two are very active cards. They talk about movement. Um, they have this energy of success, of victory, of overcoming adversity. Um, the Knight of Wands specifically, you know, all of the Knight cards are associated with messages, right? So um, again, there's that energy of like some kind of communication coming through, some kind of movement towards one another. It's interesting though because the way that I'm holding them right now, they're facing away from each other. However, um, putting the Six of Wands in front, 
you have them facing towards each other. So it's kind of like right now, this is this is sort of where you guys are at. You're you're facing in opposite directions, you're moving in opposite directions. Um, I think this is just really the result of you guys, uh, your individual circumstances. I feel like that's a major factor in why this separation is happening in the first place. You guys are just on two different paths right now. However, in the future, I feel like you guys are going to be placed on the same path again. You will cross paths again, okay? Um, with the three of pentacles being here, this card is about having a foundation, having some kind of groundwork laid down upon which you can build something more. There's this energy of teamwork, this energy of like filling in the cracks. I'm hearing the word potential with this card as well. So I feel like, you know, you and this person obviously have history together. There's obviously that foundation already present. And I feel like this is speaking of an opportunity for the two of you to come back together and utilize that foundation and create something on top of that. Build something even more significant upon it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I definitely feel like this period of rest is going to come to an end. There is going to be a new beginning. There's going to be communication happening. And there's going to be uh, potential for this to evolve into something more significant. And the Fool is your potential outcome here. So again, what I just said, um, a new start. So I do want to pull out one or two uh, Lover's Oracle cards just to see if there's Anything that they would like to add to your message, guys? Do you have any additional messages or advice for deck one? That is too many cards. I'm not going to take all of those. I really like this deck, but my only issue with it is that it's so hard to shuffle because of the way the cards are shaped. Anyway... Okay, so um, these two cards both came out in the big pile of cards that I just dropped a few minutes ago. So we have Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And we have Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So um, again, yeah, I think it's pretty uh, clear that there is going to be a reconciliation here. The thing is, right now, you just kind of have to have patience and give it time. Continue to give this person space. They will continue to give you space. Um, when the time comes, it's going to come together, okay? Um, this is something that you don't need to try to rush. You don't need to try to influence or control at all. Um, it's just kind of something that has to run its course, I think. Um... So, honestly, I feel like this is something that you don't even have to be thinking about, really. Of course, it's easier said than done, you know, not thinking about something. But I feel like fixating on this situation is honestly just going to do you more harm than good. Um, like, actively waiting for this person to come back into your life is... Uh, honestly, gonna, I'm, I'm getting that it would be a, a hindrance to you. It would be unfair to you um, to do that to yourself because waiting around for this person to come back for some of you is going to prevent you from having other experiences with other people that would be ultimately beneficial to you, that would help you learn something about yourself or about you know what you what you want out of relationships or whatever um so don't deprive yourself of new experiences and new opportunities just because you're waiting for this person okay that's what they want me to tell you um as far as when this reconciliation might happen I 
I think I need to pull out, let me pull out one card for timing for that. All right. We have the eight of coins. So possibly about eight months. All right. Um, for some of you, I think for a small number of you, this could be August. So like next month, uh, if you're watching this when it, the video comes out. Um, but for the majority of you, I would say this is going to be about eight months from the time that you are watching this video, just because coins are earth energy, which is very slow moving. Okay, so I don't feel like this is something that's going to happen real soon. Okay, guys. Um, so deck number one, that's what I have for you today. I hope this reading was helpful. I hope this uh, resonated with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope I see you next time. All right. Deck number two. Will you and your person reconcile? Okay. We have the High Priestess card. So right away there is an energy of spirituality, of um, something being hidden or something, something being unknown to you. We have the Emperor card. We have the Queen of Swords. Seven of Wands. The Star. Queen of Cups. How many rows of cards did I do last time? Oh gosh, there's the Two of Cups. There is the Queen of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles. So, deck two, I think I pulled more cards out for you guys than I did for deck one, but that's okay. Um, all right. So guys, here's what I'm getting for you. Uh, first of all, with the High Priestess and the Star and the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups, um, I feel like there is a pretty um, significant soul bond or soul connection going on between you and this person. Um, there is... Uh, this is something that I think is being divinely guided. So don't think that this separation is happening for no reason. Don't think that this separation is happening because it's just not meant to be. Um, it's happening for a purpose, a higher purpose. Um, I feel as though the Emperor card is representing your person for, for a lot of you. Um, and your person doesn't have to be male. Uh, gender is really irrelevant. Um, in these things, but I think this is referencing your person's energy. So they could be someone who is kind of stubborn, someone who is trying to find stability for themselves, trying to create that in their lives, someone who is focused right now on doing that, on being successful, on standing on their own two feet, um, possibly a fire sign. The Emperor is associated specifically with Aries, but that, that doesn't really matter either. Um, so, I feel like that's kind of where your person is at right now. And because they're so focused on doing their own thing, being, uh, improving their circumstances, they're kind of coming across as this Queen of Swords. A kind of icy, cold, distant, um, not really giving you much of anything. So if you have communication with this person at all, I feel like it's just crumbs. You know, it's it's not a lot. It's not much. They don't give you much to go off of. They probably are not really holding conversations, not, not doing their part to carry conversations along. Um, and that's just because, you know, it's not that they don't like you. It's just that they are very preoccupied right now. And I feel like this is someone who just... <laughs> doesn't have the maybe emotional intelligence to like juggle these things to juggle a relationship with you plus the other stuff they're dealing with like i feel like this is a person who 
is maybe interested in relationships in theory, but in practice, I get the sense that they know they can't do that right now. They just like, they just can't, they don't have time. Um, but I do think that your person is going to be coming out on top. You know, your person is fighting, your person is struggling a little bit right now to achieve their goals, to work towards their goals, to find that stability, to get onto their two feet, um, or maybe get back onto their own two feet. Um, but they're working towards something important to them right now. And they're struggling a little bit, but I think they're going to come out on top in the end. And once that happens, I think that this connection is going to undergo a, a renewal, a restoration. The star card talks about healing. So I feel like um, this is a relationship that definitely has a ton of potential to be restored, okay? Um, this card also talks about hope. So this is saying you don't need to give up hope on this relationship. This is something that um, I feel will come back together. Um, this is also a card about wish fulfillment. Also, the um, Queen of Wands is saying something similar. Both of these have uh, elements of, like, wish fulfillment to them. Um, so if it is a desire of yours to reconcile with this person, these are really good indicators that that wish is going to be fulfilled eventually. Um, we also have here the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. So these two cards are really speaking to me of the nature of your connection. I feel like you have a really deep soul connection, energetic connection, maybe psychic connection as well. Um, I feel like you and this person are high level soulmates because we have this energy of really strong bonds plus union partnerships, you know, unconditional love. That's what these two cards talk about as well. Um, I think, you know, these are just two really good um, indicators that like, this is something that I think is to some extent destined or meant to happen. Um, you know, I believe that we have free will and we are the creators of our own destiny overall. However, there are some things that are just um, meant to happen, but the the details like the how and the when are uh, changeable. Does that make sense? So I feel like this uh, union with this person is one of those things that's meant to happen, that will happen some way, somehow, but the timing and the the way that it occurs is subject to change. Okay, so short answer, I think yes, this, there is going to be a reconciliation here between you and this person. Um, we also have the six of pentacles. I'm kind of seeing this as like a potential outcome. Um, this is about balance. This is about reciprocation, equal give and take. This has I think in the past this was a relationship that was very unbalanced. There might have been one person putting forth a lot more effort than the other person. In the future, I see this changing, okay? I see that um, the the connection stabilizing, that uh, investment of time and energy being balanced out. So people are reciprocating, okay? People are putting in just as much as the other person. Um, and also, you know, we have this this plant imagery on this card, so I'm, I'm seeing this as a, a sign that this relationship has a lot of potential to grow and thrive and become something bigger than what it was before. So that's pretty promising, guys. Um, I want to pull out one or two lovers oracle cards and see if there's anything that they would like to add or any advice that they would like to give you guys. Do we have any additional, okay, messages or advice? For deck two, we have embrace through each other, you find the missing pieces. So I definitely think there's some high level soulmate stuff going on here, some mirroring, you know, you guys are like reflections of one another, because this is talking about finding the missing pieces within one another. Um, and we have Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay, so this is suggesting 
that um, I think a lot of you guys already kind of intuitively know that a reconciliation is going to occur. Maybe you just wanted some confirmation of what you already suspected. Uh, maybe that's why you're here. But I think, yeah, a lot of you already know that this is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. Um, and also with the Embrace card being here, I'm feeling like um, a lot of you are uh, doing your best to embrace this period of separation as much as you can. Uh, separation from a soulmate is always difficult. It's always kind of painful. Um, but you got to make the most of it, you know? It's it's a time for you to focus on yourself and learn more about yourself and do some growing, right? And some people really struggle to embrace that period of solitude, right? Um, but it's something that I personally think is pretty important. Um, somebody is cutting grass outside, which is kind of annoying. But I'm almost done, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I hope that's not too loud, though. So, um, I do want to pull out one more card before we leave, uh, so that we can get an idea, maybe, of timing when this reconciliation is going to happen. Uh, so, let me see. When is deck two going to reconcile with their person? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So, the Knight of Pentacles, this card is Earth Energy, which is pretty slow moving. So, this does tell me that it's probably going to be some time before this reconciliation happens. It's not going to be, like, tomorrow or next week, most likely. Um, this does make me think, though, that... See, I feel like for some of you, if you're watching this around the time that it was uploaded, which is in July... Um, I feel like this could happen by the end of this year, um, because pentacles are also associated with, like, the fall season, the autumn season, um, which is really right around the corner. It's just a couple of months away, so I feel like for some of you it could be at the end of this year, um, or just during the fall in general, uh, whenever you're watching this. So... I want to say between like 6 and 12 months for most of you guys is when this reconciliation is going to happen. Okay, timing of course is fluid, the future is very changeable, um, but based on like the situation's current trajectory for the majority of you, it's looking like autumn is when this is going to happen. Okay guys, so that's really all the messages that I have for you, deck 2. Um, it's interesting that both groups today both got yeses on whether or not they're going to reconcile with their person, um, which is interesting, but it kind of makes sense because, I don't know, I feel like a lot of the people that watch, uh, you know, tarot readings here on YouTube are people who are on, like, soulmate journeys, and, um, in my experience, soulmates are, are never, like, permanently apart, you know? Um, so, whatever. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that this reading resonated with you. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye!